Hey guys, it's Alex here, and some of you guys wanted me to show you um, how to root your Galaxy Gear, how to flash the custom recovery, and install the custom ROM. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you these three things and what I actually did, which tools I used. So let let's get started. So the first thing you need is your Galaxy Gear activated. Uh, there is no way to bypass the activation screen, but you can go to your friends and ask them for the Galaxy uh, smartphone. Uh, I mean Galaxy S4 or Note 3, and they may uh, give you that and you'll be able to activate your Galaxy Gear device. Uh, what I actually did is I went to the store because I don't have uh, friends who have um, Galaxy device and I just took the uh, Galaxy S4 and activated my uh, Galaxy Gear that's what I did and um, for routing process you need to uh, let me just select another launcher the standard launcher this one here is what you'll get after um, after mm, after activating your watch and uh, you go to the settings scroll down to you see about device and here and click on that uh, second second thing from the top so it's like version of program as in my language and you click several times and then you have the USB debug just click on that and activate it. Click OK. You have. Let me just zoom out. Ah, uh, nothing. Just Windows showed me that my I have Galaxy Gear uh, connected to my PC. So after that, you have to install the Samsung drivers. This one. Um, and I'll have all the links in the description, guys. So you don't have to search the web for for all of this things I have so I'm doing it much easier for you and after installing the Samsung drivers you have to go to this impactor the city impactor it's also in the description the link uh, click on the impactor and uh, you click on start I don't have to press it because I've already rooted my Galaxy Gear so if there is a uh, an error, you just uh, take your Galaxy Gear and press OK. So after an error, you'll see something on the device, and you have to click OK. And also another error, I it happened for me. I just didn't install the Samsung drivers properly. So if you get another error, you just reinstall the Samsung drivers. That's it. After the after the uh, routing process you have to flash you the uh, custom recovery guys and you click on add in um, and click yes uh, well uh, from here you should see your galaxy gear connected um, these boxes should be checked also let me just focus and you select video Uh, go to your home screen. Uh, sorry, mm, I use Mac OS. Sorry, I just I don't know. Oh uh, wait, let me let me see where is the home screen. Um. <laughs> ah, here is it. Um. So you select the null. Uh, O3, I don't know, this MD5, it's actually a custom recovery, guys. You also download it from the one website, I, inclu I include it in the description also. So you just click on it, it will select mm. here something, uh, appear, and you click on start. After that, uh, here should be uh, uh, a blue box and then a green box. And uh, after that, 
after the green box you cannot you can now close the installation the audit after that you also um, go to your recovery um, on your gear device let me just let me just open it and go to the let me zoom in so you just press the button until it shuts down and show you the rebooting process rebooting and you press the button this one button for several times and you are now in the booting menu choose recovery and release let me see and also when you're launching Odin I just forgot to say you when you launch in Odin you have to select the download mode uh, sorry for that guys the download mode as uh, you've seen when I choose the recovery it it's the second option this is the second option the third is recovery and the first I don't remember this booting menu so uh, here is a recovery and let me just put in this in a normal mode rebooting and make sure that you have the uh, custom recovery installed because you'll need it you'll definitely need it and after that after you make sure that it's installed uh, you go to your Wondershare you install the Wondershare this mobile go app for the windows uh, select trial works or works in trial um, and all you have to do is wait from now mobile go da -dum -dum. so uh, it should install the drivers for your uh, galaxy gear so as you can see it's connecting SM mm, USB debug I just I just I don't know I just skip that or what don't remember uh, but it's no matter I think no it, it matters so let me do it one more time so one more time that you guys should see Um, let me just zoom in and click OK on your gear. It just enables the uh, USB debug for the second time. It should be enabled every time. So every time press OK on your gear. If you've seen the message, I tried to show you, but if you've seen, it's fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's just wait a couple of seconds. Super user, yes. Click on yes. Files. There are no files. Ah, yeah, files. SD card. As you can see, SD card. Click on SD card. Also. And here you have your Null 23 ROM. Just put it in here. I have the version that is um, the trial the trial version but for you it will work just for 15 days and I had it but now it's not working so just put it here put put on the SD card after that you need your gear just you can close your computer and take out your gear and from now do the do like this for the second time hold your button and press this button for 10 times again and go to the recovery 6 seconds 
or five, I don't know, like about five or six. So that would be five. In, and go to install if you can see. And scroll down until you see the null 23 RAM and swipe this little arrow and you can see a ROM installer so now you're installing the custom ROM and from that you press next and here you can select Google Apps third party apps everything you just click on next 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 after that you'll see um, let me just turn it off and turn back on and you will see <laughs> let's just wait you will see <laughs> the galaxy gear so it's just the normal rebooting and after that no Samsung logo it will say null every time you reboot your galaxy gear it will say null ROM like, like that dead picture or animation uh, so as you can see I'm having the null ROM on my Galaxy Gear device. And that's basically it guys, uh, so please comment, rate and subscribe and also give me a like button if I helped you in some ways and see my other videos, so I'll catch you in the next video.